Hey, shout out to the subscriber who requested this one, man. So we got Tamino Habibi live. Okay, so um, a little bit of info on him. Like he's a, you know, uh, he's a Belgian, Egyptian, Lebanese singer, musician, and model. Um, he's a grandson of Egyptian singer and movie star Merham Fouad. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, seemed like to say before his commercial success, he received training at 17 from Amsterdam Royal Conservatory. He do look like a model from this picture I see on uh, Wikipedia. But <laughs> but with that being said, let's let him cook. Something hides in every night Brings these eyes from the deep And with it comes a burning light To keep us from our sleep I do definitely hear the Egyptian influence in the the in the waviness of his vocals like uh, 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 like that so yeah as a full star tries his best to make the white pearl shine glances of a new day have arrived and thought not alone, he fears to never love another and leave his heart forever with her smile. Hey, that one gave me chills. It's funny because I'm kind of following the video and I see that, um, you know, all we started from the front of his face and now we just pan it back. So what, first of all, what does Habibi mean in that language? Um, let me see. Okay. Um, what does Habibi mean? They refer to music, songs, other uses. A New Zealand racehorse? I don't think that's what that means in this context. Um, let me look at Chat GBT real quick. I B B. Habibi is a, a, reg, a rare Arabic term of endearment that translates to my love or my darling. So it's like the Arabic me or more, right? So we got, it's commonly used among Arabic speakers to refer affectionately to a loved one, friend, or family member. The term can be used for both males and females, although the female form is Habib, Habib, Habib T. Mm. Okay. I am 
strong vocals man i wonder what microphone that is man that microphone picks up acoustic very well and it helps his voice sound much more stronger carrying it out like that in that room Reminds me of Jeff Buckley a little bit for some reason. Wow. That was a good track. We've been listening to a lot of good tracks today, but um, his voice definitely carried. I was wondering if we was going to get some kind of reward with that whole back up and panning out thing. But it, but for what the word Habibi means in Arabic, yearning for love, there's a flaming hot desire. It sounded like he was, he, it almost say that he lost his love. Almost. It sounded like a ballad. Um, and based on the fact that he sounds like Jeff Buckley, let me see what his influences are. Oh, shoot, it's right there. Oh, he is. Tom York and Jeff Buckley. Yeah, but I see more Buckley in him than anything. I wonder how a guy from um, that's Belgian, Egyptian, and Lebanese was influenced by Buckley. In Be yeah, you know, did Buckley perform over there? Did he run over his run into his music somewhere? That's cool, man. That kind of gives more credence to what I say, man. M certain musicians, because they have the courage to go out and perform their music, they're influencing the next generation. So sooner or later, you get somebody that's mixed with Scott Stapp from Scrape Creed and. Got a little bit of lead from Chili Peppers, and then he's mixed with um, Keenan <laughs> uh, from Tool, James Maynard Keenan. So I'm learning the names, but let me know, man. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, catch you guys at another.